Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from this week's end. Welcome back to another video in the channel. In this one, we'll get started working with the notification component here in React.js. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully we enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. Now I want you to begin by opening up your code editor. Then I want you to open up the notifications. Okay. And as usual, we have written this already in the dashboard. So please import some of the things that we have in the dashboard. Also import this and this down here. Good. Okay. So now that we have this, we now need to create a function that will call the notification just like we did over here. Okay. So in the notification, create a new function called fetch noti. Fetch noti. And this should be async. And what do we need here? Let's go ahead and just pasting what we have copied. Now using the use effects hook, you need to go ahead and call the fetch noti function, then pass an empty dependency array. So guys, as you can see, in less than a minute, we have been able to successfully create this, right? Very simple, very easy, straight to the point. So hopefully as we've been doing this throughout this video, hopefully you're beginning to get an idea of how this works in general, steps that you should follow. Firstly, you create a state, import the things that you need, create a function that will make a call to the back end. And if this is an async, you could go ahead and use the try catch here in case there is an error from the API so that you gracefully handle the error instead of breaking your whole application. Then you go ahead, use the use effects hook to call the fetch noti. All right, so this is actually a weird fetch noti text. I'm gonna change that up. There you go. So with this now, that is pretty much it. Now we could go ahead and list the notifications. Here is the notification page. Click on this and open the notification. And we got new comments, new like. Let's work on that now. So over here, I think this one should be it. So collapse this and this. Remove one of it. I don't need one of it. I don't need all that. I just need only one of one. Then say comments dot map and C then index. Then paste this down here. Okay. So now we should see do we even have no, no oh my bad, my bad. That is supposed to be notifications, okay? So I think I missed the fact that I need to import these states instead. My bad. So please bring that in here. Hopefully you saw that before me. That was just an oversight. My apologies for that. So now what we need to map through is Noti, okay? So that was an oversight. Now you can see the notifications coming in. Hopefully you saw this before me. All right, so now that we have all this, that is pretty much what we want. So what we could do is go ahead and change up some of the informations that we have. For example, you can see this icon that shows up over here. We can change that up. So this is the icon here, right? So what should we do in terms of the icon, which is this one? So I'm going to, um, I'm actually trying to figure out the best way that we could use to do something like this. New comments. Um, Okay, you know what you know what I will do? I will take this and let's see. So that is for the one at the top. And I will say if n dot type is equal 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 to like, if n dot type is equal equal to like, then I want to go ahead and paste what I've just copied. But this one I will I will put in a string. Um you know what? I will take all this, then break this apart. Break this apart, then open simple React fragment, and then paste this. Very good. So now we can actually see anyone for like. If if n dot type. So over here it should be n too. So let's see. Do we have anyone? There you go. Can you see this one is for like? This one is for like. But the only problem is that we are not changing the text so say new like then this should be um thumbs up so over here i'm gonna say f a s f a i i think i need that so let me copy and paste this down here before changing 
So I want to copy and paste down before changing to F A S F A dash thumb. Thumb up, I think. Yeah. Um, I think thumbs up. Good. So please make this to be text primary instead of text success. So now we have new like. Now I'm gonna say if n dot type is equal to comment. If it's equal to comment, that is when I need comments. Okay. Um, let me see if n dot type is equal 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 to comment. Then I will say new comment. Good. And which other one do I even need? Bookmark. Yeah. So if n dot type is equal to bookmark, then I will show new bookmark, new bookmark. Oh, good. So instead of this, I'm going to say FAS, FA dash bookmark, and I want it to be a text danger. Right. There you go. New bookmark, new bookmark, new like, new like, new like, new comment. You can see new comments, new bookmark, new bookmark, new bookmark bookmark new like but i think there is an issue with the api guys open up the api and come over to the notification so search for notification dashboard notification list that is the one i'm looking for okay all those ones are seen as false all right so i'm listing all the notifications we are seen is equal to false that is exactly what i want okay so now Let's also change up this text here. You see, this person commented on your post. I also want to change that up, okay? I think I even have something like that already in the dashboard. Just give me a sec. Let me see if I do have something like that. Oh, yeah, this is it over here. It's just something something related to this. But... Um, I'm going to take just this size of this part of the code and get back to my notification. So now let's change up this text over here. Now, to be the same as what we had initially, if n dot type is equal to, I, you know what we could even do? We could even just save ourselves a lot of stress and try to fix this piece of code, which is this one in here, right? I think that should make sense. Okay, but we're beginning to get this, this uppercase then. That is because all these are wrapped in a H4 tag. How about we wrap this in a P tag? Yep, then the ones that we want to, that the ones that we need them to be bold, we wrap them in a H4 tag like this one. Yeah, there you go, see new like. So please go ahead, wrap this ones in a H4 tag. And finally, which one? This one. So H4. Good. So now you can see all this coming together. There you can see Monica, there's this, this comment on your post. That is good. So if it's a new bookmark, I'm going to say someone just bookmarked your post. I don't want to say the, call the name of the person just to keep it a secret. And I'm going to call the name of the post. So n dot post dot title. So n dot post dot title. See, someone does bookmark your post introduction to React. That is very, very good. That is very, very okay. That's exactly what I wanted. Please remove the FW board so that we have our code looking this way. Very awesome. Now, if, if it is a new comment, what do I want to say? I want to say someone just commented on your post so you check out if it's a new comment see someone just commented on your post and if it's a new like if it's a new like it should be someone just liked your post perfect guys we are done now let's change up the date also the date needs to be touched so over here i will call moment and just pass in n dot date now you see the date changed to first july 2024 Finally, let's go ahead and work with the Mac notification async. Very simple and straight to the point function. So create a new one called handle Mac noti as sin. And I'm gonna make this an async function. 
so that I could use try catch and I could also await the the response coming from the back end. And let's go ahead and pass in the try catch. Try accepts Oh, it's actually catch. I was using accept. I'm very, 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 very used to Python and Django now. I think it's try accept because in Python and Django, it's try accept, not try catch. Ah, okay. So what we need to do is go ahead and make a call. So const response should be equal to await API instance dot post. So you're making a post request to this API here. You can also see it in the URLs py if you don't want to type all this out it is this one here so if you don't want to always have to type this out just go this way all right and it needs some things for it to work and that is the notification id which means i need to pass in notification id into this function so that i can grab it from the button when the user clicks on it so notification id should be Noti ID, perfect. So let's go ahead and log response dot data, and let's also go ahead and fetch Noti. Let's also go ahead and toast success um, notification scene. I think that is everything that I need. Good. So take handle mark notification as scene and put it in this button down here. On click of this button, it's a function. So we pass in the n dot id. Good. So right now, let's try this out. So when we click on this, see notification sent. Very good. And it leaves this page, right? Wait, why is he highlighting everything? Uh, let's mark this also. Mark. See, it's left the page. So now we have this one. So you can as well go ahead and mark all this. So you can you see. I'm marking all this as seen. Yep, I've seen all this notification. They should all live here. And we have the very last one now. There is something I want to do before I mark that one. I want to check if noti dot length is less than one. What do I want to do? I want to show a p tag that says no notifications yet. So now when I mark this one, see, no notifications yet. Congratulations, we are done with the notification. That is everything that I want to do for the notification. In the next video, we'll start off with something new. Maybe the profile, maybe creating of post or adding of post. Let me even see what we have in the drop down. All right, notification is done. Maybe we will work with profile. Then after we've updated profile, then we can start working on creating of post and adding of post. That is it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, do not forget to drop a like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel as that will really mean the world to me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, mad love. Peace out.